Hello friends, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss couple of the inbuilt Jasmine methods, and we are going to discuss like to be, to be true, and to be truthy. And apart from that, we will discuss what is the to be false and to be falsey. So these are the some uh, inbuilt matcher in the Jasmine, and we use mostly these in the Angular unit test case to identify like particular unit test case is failing or the passing. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch previous video where we discuss about the to be and the to be equal. So let's discuss what all are these. So to be true that we have discussed in the previous video as well and where we discuss like to be true is just similar to the like we, we are uh, checking value whatever the actual equal to equal to expected so basically like whatever the value we have passed and then whatever we are checking that should be like true like that should be match in that case this uh, this will be true otherwise it will be false like for an example let's go to the visual studio and let's take it as a i have taken a var variable so this is the variable a and here i have defined hello now what we are expecting in the case of the 2b 2b so basically like here you can see like expected the actual value to be equal local means whatever we are going to pass here that should be equal to this a so the same we have to pass here so if i will pass here as a hello and if I will save it, this test case will be pass. And we can see here. Now, if I will make it as a hello one, and now it is like hello is not equal to equal to hello one. So in that case, what will happen? It will fail. So like we can see here. So basically like to be is we use when like we are expecting like whatever the uh, we are expecting should be equal to the same whatever we are passing to this one so that is the to be now next is to be true so mature function perform the test actual equal to equal to true is actual boolean and actual dot value of and what is the meaning of that like for an example if we have taken a variable so that if it is passing true so in that case we use the uh, to be true like for an example, like uh, this to be is handled only the primitive boolean type, but this to be true handle both a primitive primitive boolean type and boolean object as well. So in that case, we use the to be true. Now for an example, let's come here and if I will make it as a true. Now, now if I will save it and if I check like so what it is saying like it is giving error because we are expecting like that should be a boolean value. Now if I will pass as a true here so in that case what will happen it will pass because this true is equal to this true. Now same if I will make it as a to be true. So here if I will use as a to be true so now this method doesn't take any parameter now for an example like to be true here we can see like it is a boolean type like the return type is the boolean of this method so it doesn't take any method in that case what will happen it will be like succeed this test case will be succeed so like to be is basically used with the value like that check the value but to be true is always check like the like expected value is true or not that's it now next is like to be false if i will make it as a to be false so now we are expecting value true and but what we are checking we are check checking to be false so in that case this test case will fail because we we are passing true but expecting as a false so in that case it is failing now if i will make it as a false so in that case, this test case will pass because the expected and the output both are same. So that is the difference between to be true and to be false. Now next is to be truthy and to be falsy. 
so this boolean method is used in jasmine to check whether the result is equal to true or false and to be falsy also work the same way as a to be truthy met method it matches the output to be false where to be truthy matches the output to be true now what is the difference between to be truthy and to be true so now we have understood like to be true is basically check like whatever we are expecting is true or false that's it uh, like the, uh, the use of the to be true and to be false to check whether the input is true or false now in that case now, now let's make me to be truthy in that case i will make it as a to be truthy and if i will make it to true so basically like uh, now in that case what is happening we are saying like whatever the value we are passing that should be true so it is passing now in that like we are passing something now for an example we are calling any method from the component now that component we didn't initialize anything and that value is undefined so now in that case what will happen like undefined is basically not a true value so if i will save it in that case so what will happen it will fail because now let's see why it is failing because undefined to be truthy so that's why it is failing now if i will make it as a to be falsy and if i will save it then what what will happen like basically we are checking this thing only so undefined means it indicate as a falsy that's why this is succeed now what if i will make it as a to be false and if i will save it in that case so like basically like when we passing as a to be false in that case it is failing because this to be true and to be false always check either the value will be true or false but to be to be uh, falsy so here you can see like it is also uh, written the boolean type and apart from this one like if i will go we can assign any value to this one as well like if i will um, like assign any value in that case like abc and if i will save it so to be truthy and to be falsy is basically oh, we have the overload method like we can assign any value as well but in the case of the to be true or to be false let's take to be false because we are checking the undefined that's why these doesn't take any value because they does not have any like overloaded method so that is the another difference between the to be false and to be falsy so uh, here some output um, and the input where we can identify like to be truthy and to be false will fail or pass like for an example i am passing that true then truthy will be true i am passing one then true zero will be fail because zero indicate as a false now undefined is also nan nan that is also false false means that truthy will not work and similar to like if we are not passing any value in that case it will be the uh, it will return as a false so that is the difference between the to be to be true to be truthy to be falsy and to be false so like it, you can do more practice on, on over it so you will understand better like how, in which scenario we can use it so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you